Okay, uh, bonjour à tous, hello everyone. This is Anthony from Anthony Blog, and in this video, from a user suggestion, I thought I'd make a video about setting your batteries to storage. Uh, before I go into it, I'm going to explain what I've done to gather this information for you. Um, this is because there's a lot of different information that's going on um, all over the groups and forums. Uh, my mission is not to go against those um, advice, but to give you the numbers directly from the drone. So basically um, what we're going to do is find out what percentage on the app uh, represents 3.85 volts per cell on the Bebop battery, <coughs> the Bebop 2 battery. So what I've done, I have my Bebop 2 and I've modified it with um, a, uh, a 3S uh, balance connector right into the drone on the PCB so it uh, receives the accurate reading as the drone is getting it and as it's sending it to the application. So when it's connected I have my screen and what I can do is I set the alarm to 3.85 per cell and um, I left the drone on to discharge it. So as soon as it hit 3.85 on any of the cells, it would uh, ring the alarm and I can come and check it and check what percentage is being displayed on the app because a uh, battery checker would say a different percentage, the app would say a different percentage. The battery, battery checkers check the battery the app percentage in the app is uh, determined by the algorithm or by the programmers at Parrot or the developers of the app. So whatever they deem is the value um, inside the app, sometimes they change it because of um, redundancy um, to give you enough uh, return time so they sort of lower the threshold um, of the reporting so it reports a lot less than what actually is in the battery for safety reasons of course but sometimes it's annoying um, so yeah this is what I've done I've set the alarm to 3.85 and I did this test three times uh, on multiple batteries and this is to get an average so it's not just one battery and that's it so the average was to get on your Bebop battery to storage voltage of 3.85 volts per cell is 77, uh, 75 to 77% on the app on Free Flight Pro. So if you don't have a balanced charger and you just have your, your normal Parrot little brick and you're using that to charge your Parrot battery. That's actually not a problem because you don't need any fancy equipment to discharge the battery. All you have to do is just put the battery in the drone, turn it on and let it sit or go out, go outside in an open space and fly the drone for a short flight until you get to um, about 77% and then you can bring it down and shut it off and then put it in storage. Um, the storage, sorry I made some notes. The, uh, the storage, uh, recommended storage temperature is 40 to um, 75 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 5 degrees to 24 degrees Celsius. So storing the batteries uh, in, 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 in an area that is regulated, uh, that has regulated temperature is, is wise. The LiPo battery has an average of 300 cycles. So 300 charge cycles is when it starts to, um, that's basically what they've predicted as the lifespan of the batteries. 
my one of my batteries this one this one has done over 400 I have my own personal log where I log each time I put it on charge and I make a note in my notebook so this is over 400 and it's starting to make my charger blink so uh, parrots numbers were not off when they said 300 so after 300 I'm I'm expecting some blinky reds so storage temperature recap storage temperature is 40 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit uh, 5 degrees to 24 degrees Celsius uh, life cycle of the batteries are 300 uh, charges and um, your storage voltage is 3.85 per cell and 75 to 77 percent on the app that's it how you get to that that's up to you if you want to fly the drone if you want to put the battery in the drone and leave it on that is entirely up to you if someone says you have a heating problem when you leave the drone on the fan comes on when the drone is not flying so that will also increase the discharge and help speed up the draining process so there is no chance of overheating while it's on the ground and in any case I like to do that because I'd like to know if my drone overheats I don't want it to overheat while it's flying because if it overheats if it gives a CPU warning while it's flying it will shut down all the systems while it's flying so I like to do this sometimes just put the battery in and let it run because if there's a problem with the heating or the cooling system I will know when the drones on the ground so that is something to uh, to also think about so I hope this video has um, has helped you and you've learned something if you like give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos until next time fly safe and god bless